you know, oftentimes sort of in, in, in the moment, um, it's hard for me to remember to center and access sort of my learnings. And so um, how do you suggest that you remember that we remember in, in in the moment and in at the time when there's maybe a uh, a stress or an opportunity to um, to you know use the, the the tools that 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 we're learning um, in, instead of kind of blazing through with our sort of um, uh, you know historical responses. Mm -hmm. What 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 feels what is it, a ground here, David, is the place in which we develop a practice. And what that practice does is becomes a reminder in our nervous system or, or in our spirit, if you will, about waking up. So that, um, like one of my teachers once called effortless effort, that moment where you might be in your meditation or your centering practice, and all of a sudden you're awake. And that wakefulness comes from building a practice in which you're your consciousness becomes more stabilized and we're not really being flung about so much by all the different things. And then we build a very intimate and close relationship with that consciousness, that state of being, so that there are moments when it looks like we are under threat, for example, either a real or a perceived threat. And we feel all of that conditioning take over that we have a much shorter route to coming back to observing that, having space with it, and then being more present with it and not necessarily being captured by it. Simple answer is uh, get a practice, get real familiar about what's going on in your thoughts and feelings and sensations, begin to have an anchor inside that practice that begins to stabilize all that, that builds a different awareness for yourself. All right, thank you. You're welcome.